Welcome to Jerusalem. It actually I have to say welcome to the to Enkerem. Enkerem is where we believe uh, the house of Zachariah and Elizabeth actually located and John the Baptist was born here and uh, Mary, the mother, uh, came to visit uh, Elizabeth. Now, straight ahead you can see a Catholic church with a beautiful clock tower, I mean bell tower. This is the house of Zachariah. I just came from there. If you want to watch the movie, uh, the video about it, it will be, I mean, I mean, just look at the last videos of mine and you will find it. But I'm in a different house of Zachariah. I just reached the top, almost the top of the mount. And this is, as we believe, the house, the summer house of um, Zachariah. All right, let's start with the one who will write me right now. Oh, come on, where is the evidence for that? There's no evidence, um, but there's a lot of traditions. I must say that the village of Ankerim, which is a city, a village at the Judea Desert, just like the Bible mentioned, very close to Jerusalem. If you see the crane there, this is already Jerusalem. Mm, right there. Then in that case, we don't know if it was there, but we are following traditions for that started here at uh, the 9th century, but it's de been developed by the Crusaders at the 12th century. True or not, it doesn't matter. What is important for me is that the story was around here, or maybe there, or maybe there, but it was very close to uh, Jerusalem then why not to believe that this is the house? I mean, the Bible is not an historical book. It's a theological book. Then there are so many traditions that were built on top of it. One of them is about that house, the summer house, the holiday house of uh, uh, Elizabeth and, uh, and uh, Zacharias. Zacharias is Zechariah in Hebrew, Elizabeth, Elisheva. In Hebrew, then in that beautiful village of Ankerem, the um, vineyard spring, there are so many places to visit. Churches, and uh, not churches, excellent restaurants as well. Now, if we're looking at the visitation church, what you see here is from many from 1955, but there's a lot of evidence of that place for so many periods of time. Then in that case, that is the first uh, chapel that was mentioned in in, uh, in Cairo, not the house of Zachariah, that place. Um, the first one is about Herod and uh, innocent children. Remember that Herod tried to catch and to kill all the children from day one till to his hold because he was afraid of Jesus. Then he reached that village as well. But the house of uh, the, uh, the, uh, the summer house was a little bit outside the village. You can see where the village is. Then in that case, that is the place that Elizabeth were hiding, was hiding together with uh, her son, John the Baptist. And we will see exactly the place that they actually hide themselves from, the, from uh, Herod's soldiers. And um, later on, the story about the spring and Elizabeth and Mary was developed. Some even people believe that the minute they actually met each other, the spring started to flow. Then, uh, nice idea. Later on, after the soldiers went, then it, that's where Mary met Elizabeth. They were pregnant at that time. And uh, the reason Elizabeth was hiding here is because suddenly she's pregnant. She's old. Uh, she couldn't have children. She, bar she was barren. barren. And, um, barren. and they might laugh at her. Then the Bible man 
that she actually left that place uh, and hide herself for the first few months. We have evidence from the Byzantine time that the walls near the, the, the um, spring that we will see there was uh, um, a kind of a Christian place. We don't know if, uh, if it was dedicated to it. The Crusaders built here a church as well, a two story church, just like that church. The first story was the summer house of Zachariah, and the second story is to, for the glory of Mary. And today it's the same idea, the first floor, the grotto, and it's not a grotto actually, the, although you will see it's part of the grotto, uh, the, the spring is the house of um, the summer house, and the upper part is dedicated to Mary, the queen of the world. At the 15th century, it was an Armenian church, at 1679, uh, which is the 17th century, it was bought by the Franciscans, but just like the uh, Muslims destroyed the 15th century Armenian church, they didn't let the Franciscans build here a thing. And in 1862, when the Franciscans started to renovate that place, um, Sorry, in 1862 they started to renovate that place, and that was the, by um, the pressure of the kingdom, um, of the European kingdom, uh, against or together with the Ottomans. In 1955, the Berlucci built the upper part and renovated the lower part, and, and it's such an amazing place. Then let's celebrate the Magnificat. Um, we will celebrate it with two crosses that I bought um, for EJ and Betty. And if you want to have your own crosses, just go into the link of mine of Buy Me Coffee, which is at the description of that video. And if you won't find it, send me a message and I will send you the link and you will understand how should you will enjoy it. I will bless it in holy sites and then, then I will send it to you, then it will be priceless especially for the one who cannot reach uh, Jerusalem at COVID-19 time or any other time. Um, should we enter to the church? Yes, let's enter to the church. That was built by Berlucci and I love Berlucci. It's, it's amazing Italian architect who built so many amazing sites here. Then before we will enter, I want you to I want us to read the Magnificant in Hebrew and Magnificat and let her take a picture at the entrance of the Visitation Church. You're welcome. Now, that church is surrounded with a Russian church, then it's a little bit can feel the pressure. And just like we look at the beautiful, amazing, actually, mosaic. Oh, wait a minute. Here it is. You can see uh, Nazareth. To the left, the mountains of Nazareth, and they put the crosses there, and I will be able to show it to you. And by the way, Nazareth is at the left part, and you can see Mary heading to and Carrie, which is at the right part, and Elizabeth is waiting for her right there. Now, they, um, there's a group of uh, people that now reading the Magnificat. And I don't want to disturb the lucky tour guide. But later on we will do that, Baby and Mama. Yeah. I love that. Look at the meeting. Amazing, isn't it? Two pregnant women. Let's try to enter to the house of Zachariah before the tour guide will enter. Mm -hmm. 
a little bit dark here, then let's get used to the darkness. And here, you can see the rock that John the Baptist was hiding behind it. Uh, just after he was born, uh, he hid hide himself from the Romans who were looking for their children. And the house and the uh, spring is in front of you. You can see that they have a beautiful carpet in a way, made of mosaic with a lot of fish. Fish, one of the symbols of the early symbols of Christianity, but it gives you the feeling of a house. Remember, Mary was standing here together with Elizabeth. Look at the beautiful altar here. Elizabeth and Zachariah with, with, with the Benedictus. Part of it is quite ancient, I mean, part of it is Byzantine, but they uh, built it, they kept it as it is. Mm. A. de la Torre, and 1941, painted here amazing paintings. Here you can see um, the innocent children that were killed by uh, the soldiers of King Herod. And, and that's why you can see that John the Baptist is hiding by the help of, um, of the angel. And I must say that although I, I really love it, I cannot understand the idea that God didn't save the children, I mean children. Here you see the meeting between uh, Mary and Elizabeth, two pregnant women from a priest family. And right in front of you, you can see um, Zacharias at the temple just a minute or two before the angel met him, and he is lighting the incense in the temple. And it came from a via uh, priest family, one of the 24 Jewish priest family who kept uh, the temple, served the temple as well. Amazing, isn't it? And look at the vineyard above us. It's in Karen, remember? And Karen, it's part of. Um, Uh, it's actually the name of the is um, the vineyard spring. Then here it is. Then let me take the two crosses and let's climb up to the second story church. And later on, we will stand in front of uh, the Hebrew version of the Magnificat. And then prepare your Bible in your language and you will be able to follow it. Amazing. Did you already sus subscribe my channel? Please do that. Um, it's very close to 100k, but uh, my daughter believes that I'm too old for a YouTuber. <laughs> I am old. And um, she, she told me, to talk with her when I will reach 100k because only then she will think about me as a youtuber I do have more than 19,000 videos on YouTube I mean you can find a video on almost on every subject of the Holy Land the Sun is in your eyes but it's beautiful here Look how amazing that garden is. Summer house or not? Summer house 
is usually in a higher place. This is a higher place. Uh, the regular house is um, at the valley and in summertime, guys, believe me, it's hot. It's uh, now the end of November. I'm walking with a short sleeve t-shirt. Let's enter to the church. This is the daily church. Sorry by the nose. Look how beautiful is the floor. Animals motive. EJ, Bethy, I'm in one of the most beautiful places in Ankara. This place, as you already know, dedicated to Mary, the mother of the world. Here you can see the Franciscans. Let me just bless the crosses, but I wanted to see the beautiful, amazing uh, painting here. You can see the Franciscans are dedicated that church to Mary, and around them are so many holy people. And you can see the Son, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, Spirit in the shape of a dove. And amazing, isn't it? Yes, it is. Such an amazing uh, painting. You know, I've been here so many times. But this time, I felt the beauty of it. And if you are talking about that, beside the 14th station, you can find here so many other important things. For example, here you can see the Ephesus Council, the Council of Ephesus, and the one with the tie, Let's see if I can show it to you with my finger pointed. Yeah, is Berilucci himself, the architect to build a church. Nice of him. But that dealt with the nature of, uh, or the importance of Mary, mother of God, which is the one who carried God. And Mary, the mother of, uh, of Jesus, the mother of the word, is here as well. The mother who told Jesus, go and fix it. Uh, we can see the cana, we can see cana, the wine, and the water turns into wine. This is the first miracle of Jesus at the book of, uh, you can find it in the book of John. And that, that is amazing. 1571, the Christians won the war between them and the Ottomans. And what they actually believe is that they prayed to Mary, to, uh, to the power of Mary, and they won because of it. And here it is in front of you. Beautiful. Another important thing is the figures um, between the pictures, the small figures. Here you can see the picture of the um, prefiguration of Mary, Yael. Judith, Yehudit in, in Hebrew, Esther, from the book of Esther. Mm, it's difficult to hold the camera, I'm just like, like that. Hannah, Hannah. And here it's going to be a little bit more difficult because of the sun, but Sarah, Sarah in Hebrew, Rachel, Rachel. In Hebrew, and that is, of course, Maria, Miriam, the prophet, not the mother, and Deborah. And look at the Alba. It looks like alabaster. No, I'm not sure. Windows. Look at it's, everything is flourish here. Amazing, isn't it? And of course, the amazing ceiling. And 
the most important, or the most beautiful thing here is Mary, Mary and the son and the child. <laughs> what can I tell you, my describers and the one who watch it? Such an amazing places are in the Holy Land, and I know that most of you cannot reach Israel because now there's a lot of problems. I mean, uh, COVID-19 is um, now hitting uh, uh, Europe again and South America. Then you can actually watch those videos. And if you can, please send it to everyone you can. You can see the remains of the Crusader Church walls here behind the altar. Are we ready to go to read the Magnificat in Hebrew? Yes, we are. Then let's leave the church. Look at the beautiful doors. Although again, the sun is in our eyes. Then maybe from here you can see. At, and Jerusalem cross. A unique cross to Jerusalem. Let's go outside. Look at the garden, now you can see it. Let's face it, amazing. A lot of fruit trees here. Biblical trees, and not only. What can I tell you? I'm so lucky that I live uh, in Israel and I can actually visit those amazing places. But you can, uh, you can follow me. Uh, just subscribe my channel and push there. There's a bell button. Ring it and you will be able to get my latest videos. And please send it to everyone you can. Spread the word. Spread the videos. Please. Look at all. Just a moment. Sure. Now we can do that. You're welcome. There are a lot of um, um, versions in different languages, but we will stop next to the Hebrew one. And here it is, right in front of you. In Hebrew, we are reading it from right to left. That they are just met each other and they felt it. And she said, Tigdan of she at Adonai Vitagel Rohi Beloi Yeshui Kira Behani Shifhato Kihinem Hatai Shuruni Kol Adorot Kigdolot Asali Shidai Vikadosh Mo Vikasdol Dordorim Al Ireov. עשה גבורה בזרועו, פיזר גאים במחשבות ליבם, הוריד שליטים מכיסותיהם וירם הנביאים, רהבים מילתו והשירים שלח ריקם, תמך בישראל, עבדו בזרועות רחמיו, כאשר דיברת אל אבותינו לאברהם ולזרעו עד עולם. I, I, do you feel it as me? Yes, I feel it. Or yes, you do. Thank you for being with me at that amazing video. And uh, I want to go now back to the village. And if it's here by you, I'm going to buy myself a coffee. Because I'm really thirsty. I woke up at 5 a.m. to reach that place. And the weather is amazing. Please come to Israel. Uh, subscribe my channel. Um, do what 
whatever you can do, but only the good side. Bye-bye.